So what's your take on whether you pass the thumb under in scales or not? The age-old question. If we hearken back to the Greek philosopher Heraclitus, we come up with an intriguing idea. I pass and do not pass my thumb under in a scale. Hi, I'm Alan Fraser, and this is Piano Somatics, where we move better in order to play better. So what could that possibly mean? If you pass the thumb under in scales in the traditional way, we flex the thumb, we bend the thumb, and we put it under the hand. So I'm going to bend my thumb and put it under the hand. The thumb pulled everything down. The hand actually went into a state of collapse. And of course, now there's going to be a bang on that note. Yeah. I can avoid the bang a little bit, but my hand is in tremendous tension as soon as I bend it. But there's another way of moving the thumb under the hand. It's by opposing. When I oppose, the fingers stay flat. And now if I play the scale like that, let's try a little exercise. Put the, the pad of the thumb on the flat second finger. And then put the pad of the thumb on the flat third finger. Put the pad of the thumb on the flat fourth finger. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm already on the next note. Pad of the thumb on the flat finger. And I'm already there. So you see, I'm putting the thumb under, but it never gets under because the hand scoots out of the way. I put and do not put my thumb under in a scale.